Hey everybody, Cody here. You might recognize me if you've seen any of the Teen Writers posts, but I'm not as familiar over here, so I'm taking over the Teen Writers today and we're gonna be making mixed media collages. So, what's a mixed media collage? Well, you probably already know what collages are, right? You know, clipping magazines and newspapers and like putting them together. But mixed media collages actually encourage you to go a little bit further. Instead of just magazines and newspapers, think anything you can find around the house. Think maybe old cloth that you don't use anymore. Think like maybe some dirt or some grass or whatever, right? Think about, you know, markers. Think about pens, pencils, ink, anything you want to use, anything that's up for grabs. To show you just how weird you can get, let me show you real quick an old example of something that I made for a class. So, if you look at this and you step back, it doesn't look like much, right? It looks pretty normal, it looks pretty typical. But then, if you get closer, notice what I have for the brown here, if you can see in the camera. I put dirt and coffee grounds and mixed them together and then glued them to the black of this paper to give it that like, really interesting texture that you may or may not be able to pick up. Also, down here, Instead of just painting it red, I decided to include curtain fabric and make it just kind of like really unsettling as the hands are reaching down into it. So, what are you thinking about making? I don't know. Let's get over to the studio and find out, shall we? Alright, so I'm planning on keeping my collage today pretty simple, but just so you can get an idea of what all you can do, look at all these different things that I have on the desk here. You know, there's some classic googly eyes sort of fun stuff. You have some tape, some glue, I have some regular glue, a glue stick, some scissors. Um, if you have them, it is okay if not, but sometimes an X-Acto knife can be really helpful for cutting stuff out of magazines and such, which you can see right here that I've just kind of collected a few. I've already cut out what I want to use today, but Sometimes I find that it's easier to get started if you have a general theme, right? So my theme today is going to be... Beauty. Not to mention, you got paints. You can use... pens, markers, and I have my paint brushes here. I have a nice little metallic Sharpie. Uh, literally anything that you can find at home is perfect because the whole point of this is you wanna mix different things together, right? So the more different things you have, the cooler everything's gonna look. So let's see how this one will pan out. Let me get this cleared off and then let's get started. There you go. All right, so now it's your turn. Go ahead and pick a theme if you feel like picking a theme or don't if it's not really your thing. Grab some stuff around the house, grab something really interesting and unique and have at it, have some fun. Then if you make anything that you're particularly proud of or particularly inspired by, go ahead and post it on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram or any other kind of social media and tag the Topeka Library in it. Cause I know for myself, I would love to see what y'all come up with. All right, that about does it for me. I hope you have fun. I hope you have a good time. I hope this is something interesting and different for y'all. And stay safe, stay healthy, stay well, and stay creative. See you next time.